Again, I'm Diane Bell, director of the internship program. And, you know, I, I'm partial to <laughs> internships, obviously, um, but I always tell students, don't do as I did. I didn't do any internships when I was an undergrad. I did them when I got to graduate school. So um, if you are definitely coming to BSU, absolutely check us out. And a lot of questions have, you know, been asked of me in terms of how are our students adapting to, you know, um, participating in these high impact practices in a virtual world. And, and I have to say that um, we've adapted, I think, very well. So this semester, um, we have almost 400 students that are interning um, in a number of ways, whether they're interning virtually, like what we're doing right now. Some of our interns are also uh, on site at locations. Um, they have, you know, the PPE, they're doing the social distancing, um, and then there are students that are doing a hybrid uh, where they might go into their um, internship space uh, one day a week and then the maybe two days a week they are, um, you know, working remotely. So we've had to learn to adapt and I think the silver lining is that our students are actually learning how to work remotely because this might be the way a lot of our, you know, companies are going to work in the future. There are already positions, as you know, out there where students were, um, you know, individuals are working from home. And um, so this is a great skill, you know, for students to develop, um, you know, not maybe the most ideal, but it's, it's, it's something that I think um, students, you know, are adapting to, and uh, it is a skill that employers are looking for. Um, typically in a year, we usually have a little over a thousand students that will intern credit and non-credit. Just right here, um, you can see four of our students who have actually done internships over the past several years. Uh, if you're thinking of aviation, there's a young pilot who did an internship with Cape Air, got a young lady at the top who um, was an education major and she was doing her student teaching, which I call the ultimate internship. Right below her is another young lady who was, um, if I remember, communication studies and theater and she was also a dancer and she had a wonderful internship in Washington DC with a local theater company. And then last but not least, our uh, student to my left is, um, was an anthropology major who ended up uh, interning with the Peace Corps in, in Washington DC. What's interesting is that he had also been applying to join the Peace Corps anyway. And then I, I actually got an email from him about a year later, he decided not to, he was getting ready to get married and decided, well, maybe the Peace Corps isn't the right thing to do right now. So my point to telling you all of that is, you know, you heard different majors, there's certainly an internship for you anywhere. So why do an internship? There are so many reasons, uh, several of them are on the left. To me, a, a couple of things really hit home. Um, it's an opportunity for students to uh, take what they're learning in the classroom and put it into action. That's when sometimes that aha moment happens. They really figure out, oh, this is what chapter eight meant, or this is what I've been studying, and this is how I can really use this when I leave BSU. An internship is a great way for you to discover what you like and also what you don't like. That's just as important. I've noticed students gain so much confidence in and exposure to their chosen field. Every time a student comes back from an internship and they come back to my office, whether it's virtual or <laughs> it's in person, um, I notice the change. They're more confident in, in their knowledge, um, their skills, and just overall. Obviously, the internship will provide you with an edge up in the uh, job market. It's a great way to improve your starting salary. <laughs> great way to network. A lot of students will, you know, they may not be able to go back to that site where they interned, but sometimes that internship can connect them to other opportunities. Uh, again, great way to build your resume to also earn academic credit. And just so you know, juniors and seniors are able to earn academic credit for an internship. So I always say, don't take, you know, some class that you're really not interested in. Go ahead and earn academic credit for an internship. You'll gain the credit and the experience as well. Um, there are funding opportunities for internships that are unpaid, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. And, you know, bottom line, there's so many opportunities for all majors. Why not do an internship? Um, on the top right-hand corner, you'll see signature programs. We have five signature programs. I won't go into a, a lot of detail, but I will say this about them. All five of those opportunities are, you're guaranteed an internship. So we work with organizations like the Washington Center and Hack Diversity that have great placement uh, programs. And so they will find an internship for you. We have a lot of students who take advantage of that. Handshake is the place to find all internships. Companies will post all of their internship opportunities in Handshake. And uh, right now I just looked, we're up to about 1500 internships that are out there for students to uh, apply. 
too. And then just looking at where our students intern locally, nationally, and globally. So, you know, those are a couple of ones that, that I've listed there. I would say a vast majority of the internships um, that our students are getting are unpaid, but the BSU Foundation has um, provided me with funding for unpaid internships. Students on average will get anywhere between $1,000 and $2,000 for a semester-long internship. If you have a year-long internship, such as social work, and I know I was chatting with a, a social work uh, major, um, you might be able to get a little bit more because your internship is longer. So I always tell students, don't say no to an unpaid internship until you've talked to me, because it might be a wonderful opportunity for you to gain that practical experience. So come see me first before you say no, and we will talk about funding. And I'll, I'll leave you with this. A lot of our students, once again, every major, we can talk about internships. So it doesn't really matter. I, I'd love to get stopped. So try to find a, a major for me and let's see if I can't find an internship. But there are internships out there for every major. Um, you know, I, I will say um, my dream would be for every student who comes to BSU to do an internship. Sometimes that's possible, sometimes it's not. But certainly when you come to BSU, let's talk about it. I certainly hope to see all of you, uh, you know, when you come back to campus, hopefully we will be in person. If not, certainly we are able to, to meet with you this way. Okay.